Hi there, today we're going to set up a 1 to 90 Sage Cross Hotbar for players who play with controller on PC or console. You do not have to be level 90 to set this job up if you want to get a jump start on a consistent cross hotbar. I also think that Sage is the easiest cross hotbar to set up out of all of the healers. I separate these into four sections in my head, right trigger one, right trigger two, left trigger one, and left trigger two. Remember that healers are more reactive than proactive and your healing widely depends on your party setup and how much damage your teammates are taking. Right trigger one is always my main GCD heal spells. We have Diagnosis, Eucrasia, Physis, and Prognosis. Unlike other healers, our two GCD healing spells replace each other for the shield versions when we use Eucrasia, so that already helps with butt and bloat for Sage. Physis is our party-wide regen with later levels increasing our healing potency to teammates, so it's a great pair when we're using Eucrasian Diagnosis or Eucrasian Prognosis. Moving to our right trigger d-pad, we have Swift Cast Raise and Lucid Dreaming, and our flex spot Numa. I always have these three abilities for every healer, so then the action of MP, regeneration, and reviving someone is always the same buttons. In my flex spot, I have Numa, which is our level 90 ability that can replace a GCD damage action when it's ready. I also like to pair this with Zoe, which increases our healing with Numa by 50%, and can be a pretty powerful party-wide heal. Right trigger two is Soteria, Krasis, Zoe, and Pepsis. These are all here because they just are a tad bit more situational than our other abilities that we have. Important, but still a little less used. Soteria is good to use often, for tank trash pulls and increases the healing to your cardio partner as well as Zoe that increases your next healing action by like 50% which is great to either pair with Numa or Eucrasian Diagnosis for a tank. Krasis is great for a tank as well as Pepsis is here to mimic Eucrasian Prognosis as usually this is the only time you're using Pepsis. Right trigger 2 d-pad is our least used area of abilities. Share cast, Cardia, and two flex spots. Cardia is here because it only really has to be applied once and then you can forget about it. It can be cool to move this around in certain niche instances, but usually you just put it on the tank and never have to look at it again. Left trigger 1 is our damage dealing GCDs. Dyscrasia, Asuna, Phlegma, and Dosis. Dosis is our single target damage ability and our damage over time when you use Eucrasia. So it limits the amount of abilities you need on your cross hotbar, which is really cool. Flemma takes the place of our dot space or damage over time space that I usually use for other healers. It's also a super strong ability and should be used on cooldown. Left trigger 1 d-pad is our all-important job abilities and these work perfectly right here. We have Ixachol, Karachol, Torachol, and Druachol. Now, I know I'm pronouncing all those wrong, so don't come for me in the comment section. These are all actually pretty similar to each other and are used very frequently together. Ixa is our party-wide heal. Karachol is our party-wide regen and damage mitigation. Tora is our single target heal and damage mitigation. And Druo is just our single target heal. Karachol and Torachol do not stack with damage mitigation, so make sure to alternate these on the tanks. Lastly, our left trigger 2 is Toxicon, Panhyma, Holos, and Hyma. Toxicon is our job ability that uses the Adder Sting stacks and is AoE, which why it mimics our AoE on the bottom hotbar. This is most often used as just a mobility ability to move around the arena. Panhyma and Hyma basically do the same thing except one's for single target and the other is for the entire party. Holos is a heal and damage mitigation and can be used to keep up 10% damage mitigation on the tank at all times. You can also stack this ability with either Karachor or Torachol as it does stack in damage mitigation. Left trigger 2 d-pad is our gap closer Icarus, Rescue, Limit Break 3, and Rhizomata. Rhizomata is just here so when we need an extra stack of Adder then it's right in sight. Repose does not make it on the hotbar because it's practically useless, but Rescue finally does have a place since on our other healers, most of the time we can't fit it on the cross hotbar at all. As always, Sprint and other utilities are on hotbar 3. I don't personally put these types of abilities on my first two cross hotbar as it's very valuable real estate. Cross hotbar 3 is shared between all my jobs, so every job has access to it. Now with this, we have our full setup for our level 90 Sage. I honestly believe Sage is the easiest on controller and is almost boring because it's so strong and easy to navigate. The biggest thing with Sage is making sure to always have damage mitigation on the tank at least and using your job abilities as they're all weavable or OGCDs. 
Most of the time I see people struggle with Sage is because they're not stacking enough regens with damage mitigations, as it takes almost two abilities to equal one ability for a white mage if we're comparing potencies. So you have to use your cooldowns early and often with Sage. If this helped even a little bit, don't forget to limit break through that subscribe button and I will link all my other controller guides for the jobs that I've done in the description box or at the end of this video. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy tutorials and guides, then you can click here.